Sunday night, leaving the gym. Just got done with the sauna and steam room, and let's start it up. Monday morning, here we come, baby. Cheers, guys. Monday morning, top of the week, doing some spine cases today. I'm thinking about the gym. I'm not sure if I want to go hit chest today or tomorrow, so we're going to find out. I mean, I could hit it. Like, I'm not that sore. I just don't like... I don't know, Mondays, I honestly don't even really like going to the gym that much just because everybody's back from the weekend, so everybody wants to get their Monday workout in, and I'm just like, almost want to let them have it, you know? But I don't know, might go end up hitting the chest day today, pressing some weights, um, at least go to the sauna or do something, maybe go for a swim, but I will see you guys for it. And your oat milk and your coffee is fire. Little tip for you guys. Top of the morning though, cheers. What up, what up? I know why you're waiting around, lacking and slacking and driving slow. Not on me, not on my watch. Not today, not ever, not ever. Mr. Stairway, Mr. Walkway, Mr. Walk Down me, who's this guy? Oh, it's the Tree Meister, Mr. Tree Meister. Look at this guy running around going fucking crazy. What's up? What's up guys solar eclipse was it cool i don't know because i missed it i was in a windowless operating room and we got out 45 minutes early yeah we got out early it's like 2 30 right now so we're headed to the apartment and uh, then we got the gym headed to the apartment we're gonna make some pre-workout uh normal l-citrulline creatine we'll throw the beta alanine in there Although I'm not sure if it's really going to do anything. I like the tingling feeling that I get in my face from it or like my scalp almost. Um, feels amazing, good for muscular endurance. So we're gonna start adding it into the pre-workout. But I think it takes like roughly two weeks for your muscles to get saturated with the L-citrulline. And I'll be taking three grams a day. Um, that's what we got, that's what we're doing right now. And I will see you guys at the gym. I'm going to throw on some music and enjoy the weather. So, peace. All right, what up, guys? We are just pulling up to the gym. It's 3 o'clock right now. Nobody's at the gym yet. Uh, got at least an hour before it gets busy, probably an hour and a half, which is more than enough time to hit the workout. Um, going for 365 today for the top sets. I'm hoping to be able to get a set of four or possibly five. That would be huge for me. Maybe the help with the beta alanine. Let's finish this guy, get tingling, get our spidey senses going, and then let's hit the gym. First 10 minutes, we're gonna be doing pull-ups, abs, pull-ups and just core work, basically. I'm gonna leave the push-ups out of it today, and that'll be it. So, two minutes of dead hangs and pull-ups. So really what I wanna do is just get blood in my back before I start pressing, so. Warming up the shoulders first, dead hangs, probably two minutes, and then some type of row before we start pressing. Band work for the shoulders, rolling out just because it feels good. All right, I'm thinking three sets of 10, pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups, and then straight arm planks, elbow planks, hanging leg raises. I'll hop on the rows before we start pressing. All right guys, one of my favorite low row machines. We'll do two sets here, decently heavy, two plates, and then probably one set with three plates. Something that I always do just to stretch out my chest a little bit, but just rest it on your chest and then push one side down and one side up. And it's okay. Good stretch. Last one I'll do, just bring it up close to my chin. Two deep breaths. One or two sets here. Oh God. This might be a bar that wants, yep. See that guys? It's exactly what I can't have happen. When you press the bar off, the bar should be stable. You shouldn't want to fucking roll. And it wants to roll back. One thing that I really can't have happen is if I take 315 or 365 off the rack, I can't have it spin on my wrists. 
because I use suicide grip, meaning that my thumb is on the same side as my fingers. So if I take it off the rack and it starts spinning, it's like horrible situation. <sighs> yeah, dude, like not gonna work. Not gonna work. All right, hopefully this bar is better. Yeah. Switch the bars out. Hopefully this one doesn't roll on the wrists. Oh well, yeah, this is way better. All right, so we fixed that problem. The bar is no longer rolling, so we're good to start pressing. Um, two plates, just did a kind of a feeler set with two plates. It doesn't feel bad. Uh, didn't expect it to feel bad though, you know? Like two plates isn't that much. Um, we're gonna do one more set here. That was a little pause set. We're gonna do a touch and go with it. Probably, I don't know, three to five reps, something like that, still getting warmed up. Straight, 225 to 315. And also, I think that's like a big mistake a lot of people make if they wanna get stronger on their bench. They wanna warm up too slowly or too incrementally, putting on five or 10 pounds every time, or like for every set, basically. And I feel like you're just wearing yourself out for your top set. <sighs> 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 Time to start ripping it. Didn't feel bad. Kind of, I don't know, do I want to go straight to three and uh, three and a 25? Hey, four reps, another PR, baby. That's dope, that's hype. It means I'm, I don't know, one rep away from going to 405. I feel like if I get 365, 405 is around the corner. 365 by five, that is. I'm thinking one or two more sets here. And then, then we're just gonna fuck around. We're gonna have some fun, get a nasty pump going. Mm. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, I'm with it, I'm with that. That's what, that's what I'm looking for, guys. One, two, three. Come on. There you go, there you go. Give me one more, give me one more. There you go. Third set, though, this is about to be a grind for me. All right, 385 for the third set. We're going for hopefully three. Controlling the eccentric and then probably help on the way up on, I would guess, probably all of them. Well, we're going to send it. One, two, three. Easy. Look at that. Come on, give me one more. Oh. Look at that. I didn't feel too bad. Not as bad as I expected it. Okay. Now we're going to do a drop set. I, I was thinking about turning that last one into a drop set, but we'll turn this into it. Three, two, one. After this, we're going to be dedicated to getting a nasty pump. Mainly in the chest, probably upper chest because I'm doing flat right now, so I want to work more of my upper pec. Uh, I don't do a lot of barbell or barbell incline because it hurts my back a little bit you know when i'm squeezing flat bench feels a lot better so that's why i do it um but we got to get the upper chest involved and i think in might throw in some shoulders at the end you know mess around get a pump we'll find out only rule for the drop set and get more get more reps when i take a plate off starting with i don't know probably start with four or six reps Uh, try not to use leg drive on this either, or not much. Oof. 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 
for for Touching a little bit higher on my chest. Ah. The last set, I'm gonna turn this into basically a guillotine press. And when I, when I say that, just bringing the bar closer to my neck, just higher on my chest. Ah, uh, yeah, better stretch. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That's a set. That's a hard set. Chest is definitely pumped up. Cables. Cables are taken, so dumbbells it is. What we're going to be doing is trying to isolate, not really isolate, but we're going to be trying to work the upper part of the chest. So we're going with the dumbbells. I'll scoot you guys back a little bit so you can see a little better. Hopefully that is. So what we're doing, instead of low to high cable flies from here to here, we're just going to be doing it with dumbbells. And then I do also want to try a single arm on the cables, but we're also going to mix in some push downs. So this is kind of just where I start to have fun with the workout, guys, even though benching is still fun. Uh, main thing, so palm up whenever you do these. <laughs> Yeah, like the sounds. Uh, okay, so I do kind of want to try these with this guy. Take this bar off and then do low to high just with single arm and see how it feels. At least one more set though. And also something I should mention, so I go pretty heavy on these. Um, I don't want to be able to get here and just be able to hold the contraction, right? Like I want this to be the top, the peak of the contraction. And then I want the weight heavy enough to where it's bringing my hand down. So it's like, a little bit of a swing, getting it up, getting the contraction, and then going back down. Uh, I don't know, probably not too great for the eccentric, right? Still get a nasty pump doing it though. Oh. Yeah. Ah. 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 
That's hard. Also, you can try, you can try like leaning forward a little bit and then going up and squeezing instead of like keeping your chest up the entire time. There's not one way to do it. There's not one way to do a lot of exercises. Pointing the elbows forward or trying to. Uh. Uh. All right, we can't really get a bench for dumbbells right now, so probably one more here and then cables are open so when i say cable click cable fly machine it's kind of what i want to finish on just because you can adjust these so easily you know my last set here probably should go a little bit lighter i have 45s yeah i have 45s right now realistically i should probably do this last set with 35s but i already have the weights so don't slow down the workout you know <sighs> Somebody's on the cable flies. It's okay. Fuck it. Is that going to stop the workout? Is that going to slow down the workout? No shot. Mm. Oh. One thing I really want to do though, a little bit of incline work, right? But I mean, there's, there's no benches. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to see how this feels. Okay. All right. As expected, feels great. Um, I'll get a different angle for you guys here in a little bit because I'd imagine that's probably not going to be that great either. <sighs> so we're taking it, taking the cable, twisting the body, pulling the elbow back a little bit. Stretch right there, which is perfect. Ah, and squeeze. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Whenever I'm on cables, Literally whenever I'm on cables, nothing less than eight reps. And if I get less than eight reps, almost always turn it into a drop set. I have to start adding these in to my regular day. You know, obviously when you switch something up, it feels great the first time you do it. It feels good. Ooh. Definitely a great squeeze, but I think I might get a better stretch on the cable, the cable flies. But uh, that's gonna be it. 40 minutes in the sauna. Here we come. What up, guys? Just finished up the workout. Hit a PR today. 365 for a set of four. Pretty good for me. I've never hit that in my life, so I was pretty happy about that. Just got done. 40 minutes in the sauna. I need to go get some gas and. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to go in the stands because there's going to be so many people there. So I might just probably, I mean, I have a pound of bison in my house. I was, uh, I'm, I don't really know what I'm going to do for dinner. Either a pound of bison or a pound of ground beef and then figure something out for the carbs, not too worried about it. I really only track my protein. So as long as I get my protein throughout the day, um, I'm chilling. Um, and the thing... So I had a thought that came to me in my head when I was in the sauna that might help maybe one or two people out there. And the only thing that I was really thinking was like, no matter how bad something ever gets, 
kind of sounds a little cliche, but just like, I don't know, take a breath, take a second, and then just keep moving forward, you know? Strap your boots up and keep walking, you know? There's not, not time to sit and complain about shit, right? Take a breath. Don't be complaining. Don't make excuses. Keep moving. It's all you can do, right? At the end of the day, I feel like that's a good option in a lot of different scenarios. Um, kind of all I was thinking, I'm gonna go get some gas, head home, start editing the YouTube video, probably post it tonight, and then I would imagine I'll see you guys tomorrow for the back day. Hope everybody is uh, having a good week, good start to the week, and um, that's all I got. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.